The Justice League Podcast with two G's is brought to you by IMOSportsTV.com. What's next on the docket? Mm, let's talk about a little USA, basketball. USA, USA, a little basketball. USA, yes, US, team, USA. team USA. Team USA. Plan for gold medals. Plan for gold medals. Everybody's signing up ready to go, right? N- no. no. They're, they're not ready to go. What do you they, mean they ain't ready to go? People have been dropping out left and right. Why are they dropping out, man? Why, why, why? <laughs> Honestly, they drop out because risk of injury. Okay. Uh, Want to do something else other than basketball. Okay. Maybe personal. True. Uh, we've had nine players drop out. Uh, of <laughs> uh, it's it's of seeming the as though the Drew mm-hmm. League, the other leagues, the practicing together, playing together, people are trying to gel with all of the movements in the mm. basketball world this season. They're trying to gel, get some chemistry so that they can be a form- formidable opponent mm. in this year's upcoming NBA season. So I feel that you can't really be mad at these players with all these new players coming to their team. They want to gel and get used to them. And, and, and bond chemistry is very important in basketball. <laughs> it's, it is most important. Ask the Celtics what happened when you have poor chemistry. Yeah. Yeah. It, it, they had all the talent in the world. All the talent in the world. And it just didn't translate to the wins that they no. needed and when they needed it. Basketball is a sport to where I know the names like my like Kobe Bryant, one of the greatest players ever to touch a basketball. Definitely to me the most skilled player to ever touch a basketball. Those names are no longer in basketball that same way. We have some new names mm-hmm. coming up, young players, and it's up to them to establish a game that translates to people wanting to see them. Mm. And so there are going to be some names that you hear on Team USA when they finally fill out the roster for the upcoming World Series that are basketball that they're playing. Mm-hmm. And you might be like, wait, who is that? And it might not get you as excited, but it's up to them to make it. It was up to Kobe. It was up to him to make his name what it was. Vince Carter mm-hmm. to make his name what it was. They had KD, to LeBron, Dwayne Wade. They had to bring it. So. Even Dwight Howard. Chris Paul. Mm -hmm. And then at the time, you have players, Williams, D. Williams. It's At that time, they were good because they made a name for themselves. And it's up to these players now to say, hey, I am somebody. Mm -hmm. Play with enthusiasm. Enthusiasm. The landscape of basketball is changing. It's getting younger. And some of these players may not feel as as important to play for Team USA. It's more important to rest their bodies and get prepared to win an NBA championship. So the dynamic and the landscape of basketball and international basketball, USA basketball, is changing, and we have to acknowledge that. I think so. I think you're right. Now I'm going to throw something in there that you may not care about, but I don't care. Guess what? There's a light push of people saying that Carmelo Anthony needs to play for his 20th USA team. (laughs) Because that's the last place that he shined at was for Team USA. I don't see a problem with Carmelo Anthony playing for Team USA Mm -hmm. at all. Okay. He can can still play. Right now it looks like the NBA don't want him. That doesn't mean he can't play. It doesn't mean he can't play. But what I'm saying is. He's very expensive. That's why they don't want him. He's expensive, but here it is. You have to survey your surroundings and the mood and the environment and say, hey, I need to repackage myself. Mm -hmm. I'm dedicated. I want to see maybe if I can play for Team USA. If that's what he wants, I don't know. He needs to put himself in a place to where people can see he can still actually play because the workout videos don't work anymore because the last two seasons, the workout videos have been excellent, but the performance on the court has not been. And sometimes... As The Rock says, you need to know your role and shut your mouth. <laughs> so are you saying that the role of Carmelo Anthony is no longer as a 82-game-a-night starter, $30 million a year guy? It's not. Even if you feel like it, you can do that in spurts. You can do that in 22, 25, 26 minutes. I would rather do that in twenty two to 26 minutes than to go out there 
and be at home watching it on television. Because that's what he's gonna. That's where he is right now. AI had he didn't want to be a backup, mm-hmm. and we saw what happened to AI. This is not how you want to go out. No, Kobe Bryant has established how to go out where you have a retirement. You don't have to do that necessarily, but you want to let people show you some love. It's not a bad way to go. It's not. And I'm not saying he's in the breath of, of Kobe, but Dwayne Wade was able to go out and let people know that, hey, I want to show you respect that what you did for me, I really appreciate it. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But they can't do that when you get passed along on three teams, but you didn't really play for any of the teams. Really? <laughs> like, it looks bad. It looks, you know. He was on the Atlanta Hawks. But were, 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 were you really on the Atlanta Hawks? <laughs> Did he suit up for the Hawks? He didn't. So you got your money. So you should say, hey, I got my money. It's not about getting paid. It's about trying to win a championship because your legacy is going to be attached with not being a winner because you would not sacrifice your game when you had it. And now you won't sacrifice your ego Mm. when you don't have it. So what team could benefit from a... Carmelo Anthony at this stage in his career. Okay, if I'm looking out for Carmelo, it's every team can benefit from me. I'm going to repackage myself and dedicate myself to being off the bench player who is going to give you the minutes that you need. And then in the fourth quarter, I'll be an asset instead of a liability. And I won't be a problem in the locker room. Mm. He has to repackage himself. He can't try to get one particular team. He needs to repackage himself. So let me throw some teams out there. Throw some teams well, out. Let's see how you could fit. Um, let's start at, at the Warriors. No, that's the thing. What I'm saying, though, is that that's not going to work. Carmelo, in his current state of how he sees himself, can't be that player hmm. that's trying to get on those teams. He has to be a person that has worked on his jump shot to where he can score and be willing to come off the bench. Hmm. That's why I'm saying it has to be open to – Every team in the NBA. He can't be the same Carmelo they saw two years ago playing. He has to be. The, the Carmelo two years ago is the same Melo we're seeing now. It's, it, he was just getting paid more, no, starting he, more. But what I'm saying is he has to repackage himself yeah. because sports is about opportunities. Mm. You may still have the skills to do certain things, but because of injuries mm. and disruptions in locker rooms, people look at you. When T.O. stopped playing, he still had at least a season or two in him, Mm -hmm. but he wasn't able to show that because he had gave him all the years you normally get. Mm -hmm. He just had a little bit more left in the tank, but based on the baggage, they didn't want it. So you can't come with that saying, here I am, here's who I am now, and be humble. Mm. He needs to come with some humility. Then it looks like Carmelo Anthony is not going to be playing in the NBA this year, if that's what it takes. Oh, I hate to hear that, but hopefully Carmelo can convince and his team can convince an NBA team that he is a changed man. That's all we can hope. Man, yeah, we can hope for it. We can hope for it. <laughs> all right. 